Father, we are grateful to you this morning. We thank you for your wonderful works unto us and for all that you supply, your bounties you give us, your mercies that never fail and that are new unto us every morning. We thank you that this indeed is another morning. It's another day. And you are in control. You are bestowing. You are giving out of your treasure unto us goodness. Such abundance. We receive of you this morning. Grace, Lord, that our <coughs> failing hearts and our weak faiths, Lord, will be stirred. that would look up unto you. Thank you. Your word says that many indeed are the afflictions of the righteous. It means, Father, it comes on the left, it comes on the right. It's in front of us and it's pursuing us. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. It's lying in wait. He's trying to overtake us on all directions and fronts. But you are not perturbed. You are not worried by it. The word continues to say that, but the Lord God delivers him from them all. So you are at work by day and by night to deliver us. Therefore, Lord, deliver us. For each of us this day and this week and the weeks ahead of us, you will continually deliver. Therefore, may your mighty hand that is able to deliver be activated on our behalf. May that which is stirred up against us be subdued, Lord. We give you praise this morning. We give you praise. We give you praise. Your name be forever exalted. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beloved, I I want to share something briefly with us and uh, and make us pray. Um Joshua is a story of Israel. Uh, it's a story of Israel leaving captivity and coming to the land of promise and almost to the end of their journey before Joshua left them in chapter 21. In chapter 21, 43 to 45. 43 to 45. The scripture says that, So the Lord gave Israel all the land he had sworn to give their ancestors. And they took possession of it and settled there. The Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn 
to their ancestors. Not one of their enemies withstood them. The Lord gave all their enemies into their hands. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. I'm reading the NIV version of the Bible. I want to read it again. And we'll pick a few things in it and, and pray this morning. He opens up by saying, So the Lord gave Israel all the land he has sworn to give their ancestors. And they took possession of it and settled there. The Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their ancestors. Not one of their enemies withstood them. The Lord gave all their enemies into their hands. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. Now, we know the story of how Israel was in captivity. We know the story of the pain and the anguish they have had to endure. We know how they lived. At a certain point of their lives, they were not even allowed to have sons. Israelis, the, the Egyptians decided that you are increasing and you could become too strong for us. So every male child is killed at birth. And they didn't have a say about it. You can imagine going through pregnancy for nine months and maybe sleepless nights and all manner of things and, and everything else, sometimes, you know, expectation, joy and all. And then when you have a child and it's a male child, it's killed. And that's it. Go do with yourself, whatever your breast milk is for, whatever, I don't, I mean, they, they don't care. They live with that. And all that time they'll be crying unto God, save us, deliver us. And they were going through that. Until finally, Moses shows up from exile and says, God says, I'm taking you out. Then they found themselves being pursued through the Red Sea. Then they found people coming out to fight them. Then they have to now again find themselves before Jordan. Jordan opens up also for them. They come to the land of promise. And it is at this point after they have shared and given everything that Joshua and his people had come to this place. And the scripture opens up by saying, So the Lord gave Israel all the land he has sworn to give their ancestors. I don't know what promises God has made to you, either directly, implicitly, or explicitly. Either it is based on the word of God, the Bible, and you pick which is as good as a promise to you directly, or it is that through a word of prophecy, a word is spoken to you, or through a perception in your spirit, you perceived a word and received a word, and you knew that this is it, or 
It could be plans and purposes that God has ordained for you to walk in. It could be many, 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 many things. But if the God who fulfilled all he swore to Israel is a God we serve, beloved, then there is hope for us. And this morning, I want us to spend a little time to, to pray. Israel fought, beloved, yes, they fought. But thank God that there was only one victor, them. Let's pray a little through verse 43. The scripture says, So the Lord gave Israel all the land he has sworn to give their ancestors. It means he didn't hold back anything from them. You want to start first by saying, I have a God who does not hold back anything that concerns me. You are my God and you don't hold back any good thing from them that call upon you. You want to come to that place and say, I have a God that has bounty upon bounty upon bounty of goodness to give me. You want to come to that place and say that, Lord, every good thing that you have promised, come on your or these are near. Every good thing that you have promised, every good thing that you have promised, you are not a God that holds back. <clears throat> and you will not hold back concerning me. <clears throat> Scripture says, so the Lord gave Israel all the land he has sworn to give that, their ancestors. You are not a God that break a promise. <clears throat> you are not a God that break a promise. You are a God that fulfills all things. So someone say to this God this morning that every good thing that you have promised you will not hold back. Every good thing that you have promised you will not hold back. Every good thing that you have promised you will not hold back. There may be things that may come to your mind this morning. There may be things that God has promised you. Someone comes to that place to begin to recall. Recall, there may be many things that God might have promised you. He might have promised you. <clears throat> one assurance he gave <clears throat> always unto every one of his people that we can lay claim on. Is that, lo, I'll be with you until the end of the age. So sometimes there may come that difficult moment that you feel as if God has abandoned the sheep. But he says, I'll be with you until the end of the age. And someone will be able to recall and say, Lord, you said that you will be with me. And so you will be with me. <laughs> there may be assurances that God has given <clears throat> unto us. individually and collectively. Someone recall that this morning, that Lord, you will not hold back anything. He's given assurances and promises unto us that he is the God who heals us and causes our body <coughs> to be healed. The scripture says that the Lord gave all the land he has sworn unto them. And the scripture says that they took possession. It is
is one thing to give, it's another to take possession. So by the Lord, somebody lay hold on everything that God has promised you. You want to say that by the Lord God, I lay hold on every good thing that God has promised me. Every promise for this day, that the Lord will supply, the Lord will walk with you, the Lord will strengthen your hand. Someone say that by the Lord, I lay hold upon it. He is the one who is in us both to will and to do according to his good pleasure. He is the one who is strengthening us. He is the one who is walking down the road with us. David will say that, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. It is a way to lay possession on. It is a way to possess and say that I have a God who has made assurances unto me. Sometimes, beloved, the future looks bleak, and sometimes it looks as if the situations that we face is how it's going to end. But the scriptures say that they possess. Kaya nula brozi. Scripture said they possess. It may be like that to you sometimes. And, and when Israel was being pursued and, and the Egyptians were coming in, and, and in front of them is the Red Sea. And, and on the left hand, on the right hand, are the wilderness and all. And, and the mountains and the hills. And, and behind them are the Egyptians that are coming on chariots and, and all that. They will look as if that this is the time that they were going to be destroyed. And even Moses himself found himself that he did not know how to turn and what to do and things like that. It comes like that in one's life. That you will find yourself caught between the rock and the hard place. You may find all kinds of things coming at you. You know, in a time when you think that things may be picking up, that is when things go wrong. But somebody say to the Lord this morning that you are the God who is at work in me. That I have a God whose strength is at work in me that I activate the strength of God inside of me this morning that every deposit of strength that God has deposited in me I stay it up this morning to lay hold on every promise that God has promised me I lay hold my hands be strengthened someone stare us up up Stir up the power of God inside of you. Marebondi ribiane kanta zeni ane kali ane me. Repa dionolo bro. Stir up the counsel of God inside of you. Stir up the wisdom of God inside of you. Stir up the strength of God inside of you. Imandele biane rati sita ne miyonde lebekete. To be able to lay hold on everything that God has promised you. Imadiono rebediane kali dese. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Kia maronde lebiane kata. He might your no lobin did be cut out. Stay out the help of God this morning. Mental abiana rest a cinemica to be able to possess in the name of the Lord Jesus. Marabiono lori katande levi in the name of the Lord Jesus. Beloved, sometimes it gets to the point that you are sure. And it gets to the point where you may choose to settle. But we have a God that does not hold back. The scripture says that they possess, they took possession of it and settled there. They took possession of it and settled there. My foot is planted in the promises that God had made for me. I am immovable, and I am abounding in it. Every promise of good health God has promised me. Marabi on this enyoneke, my foot has taken possession of it. Imadiono rondi ribiakata, I am staying in the land of good health. Krabendo enyoneke, imanyono lo brandi ribikata and someone stay in the land of good health. Karabi on this ten ribikata, someone stay in the land of great and overflowing supplies. Kayabi on this ribiakarodi, imadioso ni ribiakata ndi 
Ibikata. Some are saying in the land of abundance of supply, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Karani Loblo, Nili Biane Karatise, Indele Kreketindo Zonianeke. Some are saying in the place, Keyad Yondolo Bianekata, of supply unto supply, Remanila Biandeke. Some are saying in the land of miracles upon miracles, Mare Biondoso Tendili Bikatandise, Imaniolo Blondiri Bikatande, the Lord plants your food there, Rebianele Kerewanda Setende, Yena Zianele Krakeo Nosto, E Madiono Lobri, Ande Setende, E Marukle Ketenile Briandozo, E Nele Briandele Viana Kata, that the things that God has given unto you may no man take out of your hand, Rema de Le Bionde Sete, may nothing stay unfulfilled, Marakla Mire Briandoso, Re Nazirimi Candele Viana Kata, if the sun must rise for you to possess it, may the sun arise for you to possess it. Rema Dionolo Brandele Bianekata. If the light must break out in darkness for you to possess it, may God's light break in every darkness. Raclea Wanioso, a man in Romosate, a Nazire Machionosoto, a wisdom has come upon you. The Lord be made wisdom unto you to possess it. The Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he has sworn to their ancestors. Not one of their enemies withstood them. The Lord gave all their enemies into their hands. Beloved, God didn't take enemies out of their will. God didn't take enemies out of their way. No, he didn't. He allowed them because he toughened them up. He allowed the enemies to come from the left and from the right. He toughened them up. He showed them that there is depth inside of them. They sat down and drew out from within them the counsel and the purposes of God and, and were able to crush and to subdue the enemies under their feet. Beloved, there may be things that are ahead of you. But someone say, I come in the name of the Lord. There may be all kinds of things. You don't know what will come tomorrow or the one that will come the day after. You don't know, or maybe there are some that are around you and, and, and raising up voices and trying to defeat and all. Kramero Emmanuel, internal or external. Paul would say that fears within. Kramero And it comes from, from within sometimes, you love it. And it comes from without. Kemaliro blondiri bikata zenioneke. There may be voices and from, from voices. But it doesn't matter what is seen and what is not seen, what is present or what is to come. Maliande redi and katande. That every promise that the Lord has promised, kaya nyoso and every place the Lord has ordained that you must be, and every territory the Lord has given, and every marketplace the Lord has given unto you, and every calling the Lord has called you, and every classroom the Lord has delivered, in every home the Lord has ordained, in every marriage God has given, in every counsel that God has spoken. May nothing stay unfulfilled. May nothing be outstanding. Someone stretched the scepter of God in your hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May you not be handy, beloved. May you not be handy. May you not live in the narrow place. The sons of the prophet, they came unto Elisha and they cried out, The place that we have, it is too small for us and for you. It is too narrow. We need to make a bigger place. Someone make a bigger place. Someone make a bigger place. Someone dream big. The fragrance of God in you may begin to extend. Ramanda Lebianekata. Reba Luanola Bianekata. 
May you not stay behind. May you possess your possession. May love your dolo brande It doesn't matter how long it has been. The Lord propel you forward, beloved. The Lord propel us forward. Re marondi, libri andese. E nga ribrando, e nga raka, mula riandese. E na zeremi kalua ne mrande. May the day recognize you. May the day recognize you. May the week recognize you. Ramanda la briana kata. May you away to your place. Ramanda la badila me kata. May the marketplace recognize you. Ramanda you know la briana kata. Go forward, beloved. Go forward, beloved. For such a blessing. Marakata ni mondi rebi. And na ziane lebio. Angele wadi. Not one. Of all. The Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. Why? Because even when they had to fight individuals that were giants and big, God enabled how small they were. They fought and they overcame. And not one, not one failed. No one failed. Someone said that I will not be the first that God will fail me. E maraka diondo zoni makadini meke. One of you, Calebra Zini Mikantalaba Dianeke, will become a mighty nation. Kemandio Robon Dilibiaka Tara Dio so you may be alone beloved but you are not alone for the Lord your God he is with you to fulfill his promises concerning you you may be going to a place that is unknown but if the Lord is with you it will become your place of possession and every promise that God has promised you beloved and every word that he has spoken unto you. May it receive ability to live. May it receive ability to live. Every word that God has spoken to you, every promise that has been given, may you lay hold upon it this morning. May you dwell in peace, beloved. If it is an organization that comes to fight with you, may that organization fall. If it is an individual that comes to fight with you, may that individual fall. If it is men and women that have bound themselves together, may they fail. May your star rise. May your sun shine. May every promise to his people. May it stand. May it stand. If you have failed, beloved, may you rise again. There is victory for you, beloved. There is victory for you. May your soul arise. May your soul arise. May you wake up, beloved. May you wake up, beloved. May you be stirred up, beloved. May your hand be strengthened. May your hand be May your name go far. May you become renowned. May you possess your place. The Lord bless you, beloved, and keep you. The Lord, who cannot feel and has never failed. May he cause your body, soul, and spirit to be renewed this morning. You may not have men, but you have God. May a multitude pour water on your hand. 
May strangers be your helpers. May your enemies turn around and help you. Because you have found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Because of his son Jesus. Favor attend you, beloved. Favor attend you. Favor attend you. Possess every promise that God has promised you. Every treasure God has given we possess, leaving nothing. He makes giants out of us and makes us renowned. May you go forth enabled and empowered by the glory of the King. The Lord lift his countenance upon you, beloved, and give you peace. Peace be within your walls and prosperity. Amen.